guys, hey, it's Jody with Century 21 Foothills in Lethbridge, Alberta. So the topic I want to cover today is, can Golden Key Oil's Lethbridge drilling plans be stopped? Or even should they be stopped? Today I'd like to cover an extremely sensitive topic. I hope you'll bear with me as we dig into the truth about fracking and how it could really impact local residents. We know attitudes towards energy are changing. Recently, uh, music artist Neil Young caused an incredible stir with his comments against Alberta energy industry. However, I think few really appear to agree with him. Even now, the U.S. appears to be changing its position on the Keystone XL pipeline on the heels of a new report proclaiming the proposed pipeline would not be a significant contributor to climate change. The world and Canada appear to be experiencing a new awakening and hunger to protect our planet and, of course, do better business. It's inspiring to me to see how issues like fracking can mobilize and bring together entire communities to campaign for change and witness younger generations' passion for protecting the environment. It's fantastic. Just a couple of days ago, I had a young family show up at my door with their uh, little ones asking for signatures on a petition for no drilling Lethbridge. Even my own kids have been coming home from school with stories of what they have been uh, learning about drilling and of course fracking. Now, my personal concern is this, that virtually 100% of the coverage of the situation here is all negative and a little bit unbalanced. So are there actually any potential benefits of fracking for those that own homes in Lethbridge? By now, most of us are well aware of what some of the potential threats of fracking could be. Uh, these uh, reportedly include both groundwater contamination and air pollution, with residual health risks to those nearby. I think everyone is in agreement that there is no price high enough to convince a single parent, and I am a parent or homeowner, in Lethbridge to encourage any type of energy development that would, con or would certainly negatively impact our children's health or long-term home values. So I find what's really interesting is that even on Wikipedia, studies cite on the effects of fracking all point to the potential effect, not necessarily concrete evidence that if X, Y, or Z happen, uh, is going to happen, for sure, we don't know that. Many changes and new regulations appear to have been implemented since previous complaints, which are uh, claimed to reduce the potential negative impacts of fracking by as much as a whopping 95%. Now, before I become a victim of endless rants myself, I am not promoting fracking or minimizing what could be serious health risks. I'd just like to get to the bottom of it too and hear more of cause from both sides. After all, that's what we want. We want to hear both sides of the drilling, right? The main argument for hydraulic fracking, fracking includes en clean energy, job creation, and of course, income. Um, according to an investment website, The Motley Fool of Pennsylvania County Commissioner, whose area has already been through this ex uh, experience, says, Fracking has been one of uh, an economic ga game changer for this entire area. Specifically, fracking has been responsible for bringing, uh, being able to retire $5 million in debt and reduce property tax by a whopping 6%. The economic economists also finds that uh, a National Bureau of Economics report show shale gas development has an overall positive effect on home prices. This is in direct contradiction with the claims on the nodrilllethbridge.ca website, which warns some local property values could drop by 4% or more if plans go ahead. Right now, it appears Alberta could survive just fine without the job creations or bring, being even more money into the, into the energy. However, the real bottom line uh, question should be asking is what will the housing landscape look like whether drilling goes ahead or not. In the short ter to medium term, term, I could see some disparity in local price 
of listing homes. Some may be able to cash in significantly if drilling bores ahead. Fear may cause others to look for a quick sale so they can move. Now, burying any significant disaster or concrete finding or pollution in the area, I think it is relatively safe to say that Lethbridge home values will head upwards as they have over the last few years. This market right now is extremely exciting time to be buying Lethbridge real estate. However, you feel about the situation and whether you are keen to buy um, and invest in Lethbridge in Lethbridge homes or you'd like to find out what your home is worth today to see if it fits or makes sense to sell, I'd love to help. Drop me an email or give me a call now. And if you have more information on studies about fracking, which shows more proven threats or benefits, feel free to post them on my Facebook page. Let's just be civil. Even though this is an understandably very sensitive topic, please post any information you want. Let's just be kind to one another. Once again, uh, this is Jody with Century 21 Foothills in Lethbridge, Alberta. I hope that you found this topic to be very useful and helpful. Thanks for now.